this is Striplin and I work in year three and four within the Nottingham Academy. Now we've already done a Roblox drawing um, of a character and today we are going to focus on a Minecraft character. Now we can choose whatever character we would like but the character that I've decided on is Steve which is the traditional one like we did a traditional one with the Roblox I'm going to go with Steve. The difference this time with the drawing is, last time we drew 2D shapes. So we drew rectangles and squares. This time we are going to be drawing 3D shapes. Now this is a bit trickier than last time, but I'm sure together we can get through this. So, firstly you need a piece of paper and you also need a pencil that is sharp and it has a rubber on the end. It just makes it quicker when we are drawing and then you don't have to stop and start as much. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to draw a square. So we're going to draw a 2D shape, we're going to draw a square, okay? So it doesn't have to be perfect and you can go over it again and again if you wish, but that's what I would like you to do first. So you're going to draw a square. Then to make it into a 2D shape, to make it into a cube, we are going to draw a line going down here and also one that images, so mirror image of that line on the other side. So we're going to draw a diagonal line that goes here and one that goes here. And if you can see, it's slightly slanted going down and the same slantedness is the same here, okay? And then you are going to join it up from the side like this, okay? And after that, you can draw at the bottom just a little bit on here. So you can try and just draw a little bit on there to make it look more like a cube, okay? The next thing we are going to do is we are going to draw the shoulders. So when we look at the shoulders, the shoulders come out to the side and down to the arm like this. So out to the side and right the way down. And if I was you, I'd go probably about four centimetres down, um, which is probably about twice the size of the head in length, okay? So go all the way down and then across and then do the same on the other side. So all the way down and across, okay? So that's what we are going to do. Then you can bring an arm up there and an arm up there. Now don't take it right the way up to the top. You might want to just, and I'm going to rub this out a little bit because I've made it too long. You might want to um, just do it three quarters of the length up to make that arm shape. Now with Steve, he wears a t-shirt. So I'm gonna bring that bit across there to make it look more like he's in a t-shirt, okay? And then I might do that at the bottom. So as you can see, this part here is the t-shirt. So I'm just gonna shade it for you just so you can have a look. Just give it a little bit of a scribble on there so you can see that that's his t-shirt. Okay, and these are his arms. Now, if you can see with Steve, his T-shirt just come across. So if I was you, I'd just move it straight across and do it square. And it still gives you that image of the cube at the top. Now, for his arm, this will make a shape more like a cuboid. Because you've got this kind of shape here, which is like the rectangle shape. And then you're going to attach the 3D part to it. So what you're going to do is draw a cross and down this way, like this exactly the same as what we did when we did the square. So you draw a little bit of a diagonal line here and one here, and then that's how it shows on there. And then you, all you do is bring that across. Now it doesn't have to stand out at the bottom because usually you would only see that part of his arm anyway if he was standing side arm, okay? The next thing we are going to do is we are going to draw the legs. So again, a big rectangle going down and across. And again, it can be the same length as the body. Now for mine, I've just noticed that I've not joined it up at the side look. So see, even I make little mistakes. So bring it down from the arm like that and across. So here where you've got the t-shirt where the t-shirt meets, you can go all the way down like this. Now there might be an easier way that you find of drawing this and that's fine. It's up to you how you draw it. This is just giving you the basics, okay? So once you have done that, what you are going to do now, again, you are going to change the shape and make it so it's more of a 3D image. So again, if you just do it like that at the top, bring it down 
and then do the same kind of shape at the bottom and join it up. You can see that it's become that 3D image, okay? The next thing we are going to do is his little shoes. So I'm going to put little shoes on. So I'm gonna do that. And then here, where the middle of the shoes and the legs are, I'm gonna bring it up to make it look like his legs are separated like that. Now, because his shoes are 3D as well, you're going to draw them that way. And then we can always give this a bit of a shade here and a little bit of shade at the bottom. And this bit, a bit of a shade to show you that that's the 3D side. And maybe this bit, a little bit of a shade. So as you can see, you've got your basic image of Steve. Now, really, you don't have to have this point here, but it's just to show you how to actually make it look more 3D. You can join it up. And there you have got a 3D image of Steve. And he almost looks like he's standing side on. Now, once you have done that, you can add the finer details if you wish to. So obviously with Steve, he has got hair that almost goes a bit like this. So you can add his hair. Now I would expect you to color it in colored pencils. I'm just doing a bit of shading so you can see how it looks. And then, He's got his eyes, so like this, and then they kind of go, they almost look a little bit buzzard, don't they? And then you've got the little nose, like this, and then his mouth at the bottom comes up, across, down, up, across, and down. And as you can see, you have got your 3D image of Steve. Now, if you want to do the same on this side with the hair, you can do. You can just bring it up and round like that and shade that in as well. And there we go. There you have it. So well done, everyone. If you've completely finished, that's fabulous. If you would like to do the basic shape and design your own character, that would be brilliant as well. If any of you have got any other ideas or designs that you want to show me, please pop it on Teams like we do at school and I can have a look for you. Okay, guys, take care. See you soon. Bye.